Hey. Harris, it's good to see you again. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Great. Calling from Markham uh, this afternoon? Yes, calling from my basement. In my okay, now coming from a background of like acting and now singing, like what gives you more butterflies in your tummy? Like putting, uh, you know, a new show or movie out into the universe or putting new music out into the universe? I think music because most of the time it's, those are my words. <laughs> so it's like, that's a lot scarier than it's like, oh, if I'm playing a character, it's more removed. So I would say music is a, is a little more, it gets the butterflies going. Yeah, you can blame it on the writer, right? If it's <laughs> so many more things to blame if it's TV. <laughs> uh, I think your fans already know, but uh, the EP is called To Anyone Like Me. Like, who is the me in this case, or who is it addressed to? Well, I guess the reason I named it that is is because of that question. Like, to anyone like me, what does that even mean? Like, who even is like me? And that's what I'm hoping to discover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, No More is a huge hit here on Craze 103, getting some great feedback. Is it autobiographical? Like, is this based on a real boy or is this like to anyone? It's kind of like about like yes and no to both those questions. Um, I, I was actually, I was reading Phoebe Bridgers, um, the way that she was detailing each of her songs. And in one of them, she wrote, um, this song's like kind of about this, but it's also about this. And it's like inspired by this, but it's just kind of everything. And that's how I write my music too, is it's like, it's either inspired by a person for a line or the whole song, or, you know, the verses are inspired by a person, but the, the chorus is completely different and like, didn't actually happen. I think it's just like the song to me becomes what it, what it should be based on, you know, whatever is inspiring, but there were definitely real events and real people that inspired a lot of it. And that's what I love about the album. It's so universal. Like, I think, I, I think, I think that's what you were going for a little bit of university, universality. I, I, yeah, I hope so. I think I, I didn't write it with like the thought in my head that I need to be universal and like everybody should understand this. I just wrote from what I believe. And then I guess I have a hope that obviously that people can relate to it. So huge success with uh, the songs from the EP already. Seven, 70 million streams already. Uh, no more a top 20 hit on Canadian radio. Is that kind of cathartic to you? Like, does that, is, is that like, yes? Or, or you more take the approach, like, you know, I love my music. Uh, my music has a message. And I just hope that other people are, are as receptive to it as I am. Yeah, like, I, I can't believe that I am top 20 Canadian radio. Like that's something that when that happened, I was like, I said to my friend, I was like, it was mostly in a jokey way, but it's also kind of true. I was just like, I'm a pop star. I'm a pop star. I'm on the radio. Like, this is what I've been dreaming about. This is like the reason I, you know, I wanted to do this as a job and now I really am. It felt like it was like, this is, this is for real now. Like, this isn't just me making music and trying it. It's like, well, it's working. Like it's, it's working to some degree. And that's, it's really nice to to feel that. How does it feel hearing yourself on the radio compared to watching yourself played back in a TV or movie? Um, to me, it almost feels like when I hear my voice singing, I almost don't even think it's my voice. Like it's hard to accept like, oh, that's me. But when I, he when I see my face on a screen, it's, it's, it's like, whoa, that, that's me. I guess both. Both are kind of trippy because when you're doing it, you're just in the moment and then you know, everybody gets to hear that or see that forever. Whatever. Yeah, it's kind of like, I don't know if you're Adam Driver, the actor, like he just, he has like a phobia of like hearing himself or, or watching his performances or hearing his voice. Like you have none of that. Hey, you're, it's, it's super chill, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually perfect and have no fears. Or <laughs> no, I, I'm very, I relate to Adam Driver very much, but I try to, that's why I think the way I was dealing with that before was I was just trying to like dissociate myself. Like, it's like, okay, yeah, that's me, but I could just, just for now while I'm watching it, I can almost just imagine it's not me or like just not think about the fact that it's me. And that hasn't helped at all. So now, you know, I just try to look at my past self and my past work with compassion that of course you make something a year ago, it comes out a year later, you're gonna feel different a year later about it, but it doesn't take away that it was good work and that, you, you know, you can always grow and, and learn new things and apply that. Well, hey, uh, this is a great first step. We're loving the, the EP and uh, we're getting tons of requests for No More here on Craze 1013. So thanks for taking uh, uh, some time to chat with us today. And uh, we can't wait to hear what's next. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time as well.